Okay, so one of the important things you need to know is how to not only install files on your computer, but also how to install updates on your computer. So for Kali, since it's a Debian base, we're going to use something called apt-get. And the first thing I'm going to show you is how to install updates. So the common way to do this, if you don't use the GUI and you want to use the terminal, is apt-get, update, and then we'll do and apt-get upgrade. Let's go ahead and just hit enter on this. And let's explain what it's doing. So the first command here is saying apt-get update. So what we're doing is we're looking through packages. Now these packages are predefined, they're repositories. And what it does is it says, okay, I'm gonna check packages here for updates. And it went through, it looks like they use archive Linux duke.edu. They checked these packages here and they update the packages. And then once they update the packages, they run this command. So basically the and command is you're gonna do something uh, as well, right? So first we're gonna update and then we're going to upgrade. So based on what's in these packages, it's gonna say, okay, well, we know the following packages were automatically installed and no longer required. So all these things right here, they're gonna be removed. And then the following packages have been kept back. Okay, they're fine. They're not going to uninstall those. And then we have the following packages that are gonna be upgraded. Okay, so it's a long list that needs updating. And then you come in here and you say, okay, well, it needs 252 megabytes of additional disk space to continue. You could hit enter for yes, and it'll automatically start upgrading. So if you wanna update your machine to its newest and best form, you can go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and just hit no on this guy. Okay, and now it's also important to know how to install files. So I'm gonna show you two different ways. One way is through apt-get, similar to what we just did, and the other way is gonna be through git itself. So let's go ahead and install git. We're gonna use apt-get to install git. So it'll look something like this. We'll just say apt-get install git. And we'll hit yes on this. And another way to do this is to add a dash y at the end of this. So you'd say apt-git install git dash y and that'll automatically say yes if you just want to accept whatever's coming out for you. You go ahead and just hit yes on that, and it may take a minute for these to install. While this is installing, let's go ahead and talk about what Git does. So, Git works with GitHub. So when we talk about GitHub, we're talking about a lot of people update their projects, their code, their frameworks onto GitHub, especially in the penetration testing slash hacking community. Uh, it's often that you're gonna find some cool tools that are out there that aren't installed on Kali Linux, um, can't be found through apt-get, and you have to actually download them from GitHub. So it's very important to know how to use Git, um, and it's very, very simple. So when we're on a page like this, this is Veil Framework. It's a very popular tool um, in penetration testing and malware um, analysis as well. So say we wanted to install this. Well, there's a couple things we could do. Uh, the first thing we could do is always read the directions and see what they recommend. There is a quick install here. And if you look, they have a apt install veil here with a dash Y. So that will work. Or you can use gits install where you have to install git first. Okay, and then we do a git clone and we run the configuration setup. So that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna install Veil just for the fun of it. Just so you can kind of get used to how to use GitHub, how to use Git, and go from there. So let's go ahead and just alt tab back over. Looks like we have it. We can check it by typing Git and hitting tab. Okay, so Git is here. And we're just gonna hit space. We know the command is clone. And while it provides it for us down here, it says, hey, Git clone, copy this. The other place you can do it is right here where it says clone or download. You just copy this bad boy right here. We'll alt tab back over to our terminal and just hit paste. 
Okay, and this is going to install in the directory that you choose. So I just put it in this root folder here and actually our, our home folder, I should say, and it's installed right here. The folder is Vale right here. Uh, typically, when I install things, I like to put them in the opt folder. So here, CD opt. But since I went ahead and downloaded it here, let's just go ahead for an example purpose. If you do want to install to opt, you're more than welcome. Uh, you can move the folder there as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to CD into Veil. And then we'll hit LS. Now, remember, there were instructions. So let's go ahead and look at what those instructions were. The instructions said you're going to run dot forward slash config setup dot sh force silent. So let's go ahead and just copy this guy. We'll come back in here and we'll hit paste. And it's just going to run out of this config folder setup dot sh. And now it's installing. So we could have easily installed this with app dash get, which if you look, look what it's doing. It's actually rolling through the packages here and it's updating the repositories, right? These packages. And then it's going to go ahead and um, download what it needs. So it's running apt get anyway. If you see updating apt, it's installing the dependencies. So the easier way, the quick way, which it suggested was to do it through there. And it's right. Um, they don't always have uh, the inst installed packages in apt get. Uh, so that's why I wanted to show you the GitHub version of it. So you can go ahead and let this install. Let's just go ahead and recap quickly what we just did. So we used uh, we used apt get update and upgrade to install updates in our system. We used git clone to be able to download packages and clone packages off of GitHub. And we used apt git to be able to download git itself. So that's really it for this lesson. What I do encourage you to do is go through the man pages of Git and go through the man pages of apt Git because you're also able to remove programs, update specific programs, etc. So this lesson really just wanted to introduce you to the basics of downloading and updating for your system. I encourage you to learn how to remove files as well as a little bit of homework for yourself. So thank you for joining me and I'll catch you over in the next lesson.